Hello all, welcome to Zerzak Solution. In our last session, that is a stage three, we have seen how to configure, how to design a configuration file. In this session, we will try to cover the very important aspect or very important stage of NL, NLP using ML, MLflow, that is pre-processing of the data. Now, as you see, if I hover over, let me hover over to my console. Now you can see there is one data. I have taken the data called corona.csv. But as far as this CSV file is concerned, this contains a lot of noisy data. So in this session, we will try to clean that data. And after cleaning the data, we will try to migrate that data inside the file called row, which is inside the folder called a data so without further ado let's start the session so let me try to close all these things let me minimize this also so uh, first and foremost since you know cookie cutter gives us a default file called requirement.txt where we can upload or let's say we can uh, install all the dependencies which are required to execute our NLP based uh, the project first let me try to delete this we don't want this for the time being so even I don't want this AWS uh, CLI also so what we required is fundamental package if for the for, for the first time such as pandas next we uh, required numpy next obviously we required ML flow next we required DVC for data version control next apart from this uh, we required uh, obviously tensorflow also okay tensorflow required for this since we are going to discuss about birth algorithm uh, in the specially uh, NLP based system is concerned apart from this uh, we required one more very important uh, uh, the package called Jupyter lab so let me try to find out how to install this uh, Jupyter lab so you can type uh, install pip install Jupyter lab so it will give us uh, the package or the instruction how to install our Jupyter lab so let me try to copy this again hover over to your cookie cutter template and paste it over here for the instance of time I'll go with this if any uh, packages are required in future we can install by using the file called requirement.txt now to run this file first check the exact location are you uh, in the same location yes I'm in the same location called NLP YouTube next run the command called pip install pip install hyphen r for recursion so give the file name in my case it is requirement.txt file so this may take little time since we have uh, the packages heavy packages like tensorflow so after successful install installation of this let's try to continue the session till then i'll try to pause this okay once it is uh, completed then we will proceed for the next level well now you can see all the packages fundamental packages are successfully installed now it's time to pre-process the data so as far as pre-processing of the data, now you can see my file called corona.csv is available inside this source underscore uh, data file. So since this this word is going to disturb me, so what I will do, I'll try to rename this. So rather than using capital C, I'll just try to use uh, small C here. Sorry, it's C. So now it's perfect. Now in the same folder called data source. So I'm going to create one more file. Okay, right click on this. Click on this data pre-processing or let's say data processing using a dot IPYNB. Okay, so which is nothing but the extension for our uh, Jupyter notebook. So once this is done, okay, now you can see uh, uh, our Jupyter notebook uh, is uh, available so that I can pre-process this data so to pre-process the data first and foremost I need import let's try to import packages 
like import OS. Next we have import pandas as PD. Okay, so PD. Next apart from that numpy. Okay, import numpy as NP. Next uh, after that TensorFlow also import TensorFlow. Okay, TensorFlow. TensorFlow uh, as TF. Okay, as TF I'll try to mention next uh, okay right now we required this many packages let's try to uh, install this one so existing it is asking for uh, uh, a python environment so i'll go with python environment so in here already we have created the environment called let's say uh, nlp youtube let me find out where exactly it is mlops we have uh, nlp we have is there any other demo uh, dl we have next uh, machine learning okay so i can't see that uh, nlp uh, nlp so let me check first okay which version we are using as far as python is concerned so based on that on let's try to set the interpreter so python interpreter it's 3.7 so again let's try to run this so it's asking for okay is this let me try with existing uh, python interpreter so it started yeah existing python interpreter is starting uh, fetching that so let me try to run again okay so here so let's go with yeah nlp you can see 3.7 so select so it started uh, uh, integrating your kernel so once it is done okay next we can we will be able to process now you can see it started processing uh, all our packages and you can see around it has already taken around 10 seconds uh, we'll wait for some time once it is completed uh, we will proceed for to the next level yes now you can see uh, the, all the packages which are required to pre-process the data is uh, up and running now now next is it's time to read our uh, file so to read the file i'll try to create one uh, object called df data frame so to read the csv file there is a method called read csv so i'll go with a read csv uh, read csv read csv perfect read csv then you try to give the path okay where exactly uh, you are uh, uh, data is located so in my case this is the path so let me uh, select that particular csv file uh, right click on this and uh, there is an option called copy path so select copy path next paste it over here it's pretty straightforward so i have already pasted if you want you can change this location since we are in the same directory so we can give like this okay so to read our the complete data next is let's try to apart from this this is the exact location so since we are dealing with nlp based system uh, i'll try to uh, encode this for encoding there is an option called encoding and i'll en try to encode this one in latin uh, hyphen one okay so light latin hyphen one as far as latin hyphen one is concerned it is an um, iso double eight five ninety one hyphen 1 uh, 1987 maps uh, which maps all possible bytes value uh, to the 256 unique code uh, code points okay that is major western europe european language so if you are dealing with the major West, western european language in that case a case you can go with uh, latin one so it got executed that indicates that uh, through df uh, I can uh, read my file for that you can again uh, use head command which will list uh, display uh, five rows uh, of your data now you can see all the five rows of your data is uh, displayed here perfect so in this indicates that uh, I'm successfully able to read this file now apart from this uh, I want to count uh, as far as this data is concerned, I'm concerned about only these two parts, original tweets and as well as sentiment analysis. Rest of the things I don't want. Okay. So based upon your requirement, you can pre-process this data. Okay. And as far as sentiment is concerned, this is this can be my target value. 
and these are the tweets okay who uh, uh, tweets what we are going to classify now let's try to work on sentiment okay the column for this uh, I'll try to select since it is in the data frame object called uh, DF so let me try to copy this paste it here okay first let's try to see what how many number of counts are available inside this uh, column called sentiment so to check that there is an option called values counts okay use values counts and run this one so it will display uh, the number of counts which are available inside this uh, sentiment as far as this counts are concerned there are positive this many rows records are available negative this many records natural extreme positive and negative so what i want to do is i want to merge this extremely positive as well as extremely negative with respect to positive as well as negative positive extremely positive i want to merge with positive and extremely negative i want to merge with uh, a negative neutral i'll try to keep as it is so that is the first part of our data cleaning so to do that what i <coughs> again i'll try to use the same thing df inside this df i have sentiment so let me copy the same sentiment okay so this is the column i'm going to modify now so inside this again i'll call df so inside the df i have sentiment okay copy this sentiment next is uh, there is a method to map called map okay so use map and wherever you find respective data now so let's say I have positive. Let me try to copy this positive. Only this part positive. So wherever I find positive, so I want to keep that one as positive itself. Okay. So there are there will be no change positive. Next, similarly extremely positive. S comma. Next, call this extremely positive. So wherever I find this extremely positive. I want to replace all those target with the extremely positive with the uh, positive okay so positive copy this positive and paste it here <laughs> perfect similarly I have another one called negative okay so wherever I find negative so I'll try to replace this negative with the negative itself similarly we have to do it for uh, rest of the other things as well so negative I'll try to keep this one as negative itself okay similarly uh, wherever I find extremely negative let's say extremely negative so this is extremely negative let me try to replace this extremely negative data with the negative okay so with the negative so uh, negative I'll try to copy this paste it here negative similarly there is a last one more is left which is nothing but uh, uh, neutral let's try to copy this neutral and paste it over here similarly okay I want to map this one with the neutral itself perfect <coughs> so uh, instead of having five classes so what I have done I'll go with uh, only three classes okay as far as target is concerned let me cross verify if is there any uh, yes so I have to close this bracket so perfect let's try to run this one <coughs> it got executed now let us try to count again okay so how many classes are available so run this got executed again you count so now you can see I have three classes called positive negative as well as a, a neutral okay so far so good now it's time to uh, pre-process uh, next part which is called uh, this one original twitch so there are as far as original tweets are concerned there are a lot of special cases here special symbols uh, uh, dashes are there okay so many things we need to process all those things links are there we need to process this this completely okay so wherever you find stop words so we we'll try to eliminate those stop words and uh, 
uh, we will try to clean this so after cleaning this so whatever that uh, the file is there we will try to migrate that one inside the raw data okay so that technique is called uh, we will try to use uh, tokenization and uh, normalization techniques okay up, along with uh, our uh, stopwatch techniques okay for this uh, we need some more packages like nltk so first let me try to import this nltk okay nltk so yeah nltk is not available let me hover over again uh, let's try to type here nltk nltk okay for the stop words and we can use uh, pip nltk it's a uh, nltk is a natural language toolkit for python uh, to perform uh, pre-processing of the data so i'll use this nltk copy this now this time what i will do let me hover over to my requirement.txt i'll try to add this here nltk perfect so apart from nltk uh, do we require any other punctuation okay so we need uh, uh, let's see uh, let me hover over again nltk is done next uh, from nltk nltk okay nltk i want corpus uh, corpus method and inside this corpus method we have stop words okay stop words stop words stop words okay so first let's try to run this uh, requirement.txt file so our, we will understand clearly okay nltk which are the methods are available inside this uh, uh, the package called nltk so once this is done uh, we can uh, run again so let me try to run this it's showing like nltk is not available so obviously it will not show first so again we have to uh, restart this uh, jupyter notebook fine so next uh, tokenize also let's try to use from nltk nltk so there is a method called tokenize okay there is a method called tokenize inside this tokenization we have twit tokenization twit tokenizer token nicer fine so let me try to save this first again we will try to uh, uh, deactivate this next uh, we will try to uh, uh, reactivate this this thing so i'll try to close this so after closing again start your uh, uh, data pre-processing now let us try to run this mm. it started executing let's see okay there is uh, it's showing like uh, nltk is not available so let's try to run from here pip install pip install nltk okay nltk yes it started executing uh, the packages uh, whatever the supporting packages are there it's uh, installing once this is done we can proceed with uh, next level so again let me try to run this uh nltk let's see it has taken yes perfect now i can use uh, the method called nltk in the same way we need a string also uh, string so inside sing, string uh, there is a method called punctuation so i need that punctuation okay so punctuation is done next uh, in nltk i'm going to use uh, one more uh, uh, the method called stem okay so stem and import inside this stem i have word uh, net uh, limit uh, limitizer okay so we need this limitizer also next uh, uh, i want contractions also so as far as contractions you can use contraction okay contraction uh, we need to import this contractions okay so let me copy again you follow the same process okay whenever uh, you doesn't find uh, uh, if you are not finding uh, uh, the specific uh, uh, the packages okay so let me have uh, pyp next uh, let's try to install this contraction so as far as uh, installation of const contraction is concerned straight away you can uh, uh, right from here pip install 
pip install contraction uh, or else straight away you can run pip install contraction okay and uh, since it is installing so uh, you can copy this and uh, put it in the requirement.txt file hover over to requirement.txt again uh, pasted here done okay let me hover over to data processing and if i run again so it should work yes contraction is successfully working now first uh, let's try to uh, since i'm going to use uh, 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 stop words techniques as far as stop words techniques are concerned the words which are generally filtered out before processing uh, natural language are called stop words these are actually the most common words in any language like uh, articles uh, prepositions uh, okay uh, pronunciation conjunctions uh, and it does not uh, add much information to the uh, text so let's start with the stop words i'll try to create one object in the name called stop words okay stop words next uh, set so i want to set the language so as far as setting of the language is concerned there is a method called stop words inside this stop words i have words okay and here you assign uh, the language be uh, english okay so english i'll try to use english fine english is done next uh, similarly okay let's try to run this okay got executed next uh, similarly punctuation also so i'll try to create one object called punctuation so uh, i can call punctuation using this method called punctuation and replace uh, all this special character which comes like uh, f like this type of a symbol okay next uh, uh, spaces so i'll try to have spaces also all this uh, symbols i want to replace this one with uh, uh, the symbols like uh, question marks okay so question marks and the spaces hold on okay uh, question mark as well as the spaces perfect let's try to run this it got executed punctuation is also done now it's time for uh, tokenizing and normalization of our complete uh, uh, the data for this i'll try to create one definition in the name called def okay so tweet uh, tokenize i'll try to create one custom def, uh, definition in the name called twit tokenize and i'll try to have twit here okay which is nothing but the name next is uh, once this is done i'll try to create a tokenizer let's try to have an object in the name called tokenizer and i'll try to use twit tokenizer okay use twit tokenizer and reduce the length uh, as far as the length is concerned i want to reduce this one okay to true i'll try to you activate this similarly lemmatizer i'll try to use one lemmatizer uh, object so inside this object lemmatizer, lemmatizer i'll try to call word net lemmatizer okay which is nothing but the method here lemmatizer next to tokens uh, tokens uh, next token tokenizer already have created the object called tokenizer i'll try to call that object tokenizer <coughs> tokenize okay so tokenize contraction uh, contraction contractions dot uh, fix uh, fix tokens uh, fix tweets okay fixed tweets which is nothing but my uh, the object at what i have called now apart from this uh, pruned i'll try to create one uh, object in the name called pruned okay and i'll try to create the array okay sorry um, um, empty list okay pruned so that i can uh, once after uh, cross verifying row by row so whatever is there i want to store it in uh, inside that empty list uh, token in uh, tokens token in tokens next already tokens i have created if token okay if token 
not in the range range is in our case range is nothing but the punctuations here okay punctuations and not uh, okay not token not token not token uh, then if not to uh, start uh, start switch to http okay so wherever http are there so again i want to uh, remove that also okay so next is uh, if token start switch if token uh, let's say token st start switch start switch uh, let's start if it is starting with at the rate okay if it is starting with the at the rate uh, then i want to perform token token let's say token replace i want to replace this one okay token replace with uh, wherever i find this at the rate so i want to replace this one with uh, space okay space like this and pruned append let's try to append one by one now okay so pruned already i've called pruned and uh, there is a method called append one by one if you want to uh, uh, insert okay so there is a limitizer i'll try to use limitizer dot limitize okay limitize so limitize next uh, tokens uh, token uh, lowercase lowercase okay so lower perfect else let me yeah since i have to end this uh, else also okay else else uh, as far as else is concerned uh, just try to uh, copy the same thing copy this and paste it over here okay paste it next to written prune written prune i think i have to call here itself written pruned uh, pruned perfect <coughs> this is also done so let's see let's try to run this it got executed okay and it will start processing now i have to call the definition called twit tokenization in next level okay with our uh, uh, the data now next uh, how we can do this there is a method called lambda function so i'm going to use that lambda function uh, to uh, call this uh, twit, twit tokenization definition for this uh, i'll try to uh, uh, use one object called let's say uh, clean twit okay clean twit df next inside this df you call that uh, row so in my case uh, as far as row name is sorry column is concerned so this is a column called original tweet copy this next uh, uh, paste it here okay so next after pasting this uh, now it's time to apply this uh, to, it's time to apply that definition for that we have a method called lambda function so uh, i'll use apply let's try to apply the lambda function how we can apply this uh, call the keyword called lambda and this is nothing but your object called x okay next inside this x call your twit uh, tokenize okay twit tokenize and uh, that object okay nothing but x here i'll try to use x same thing next is let's try to run this so there is there is uh, a problem called uh, there is a problem df df is not defined why it is so df is not defined let me check again okay why it's uh, i'm not able to call this df so let me go up df sentiment is working fine so clean twist in the same way even our original tweet also should work df is not defined it's asking like why it's showing like df is not defined so let me pause the video and again i'll come back to you uh, after rectifying this uh, error well uh, there was no error uh, 
the problem was uh, I just restarted this uh, data pre-processing pre IPO INB. So in that case, since it is in, Python is an interpreter, in that case, line by line, it try to execute. So maybe if you are finding such type of a problem, just try to run this run all. Okay, uh, run all. It will execute one by one, and it try to give you the exact answer. Fine. So we'll wait for some time. Maybe it will take around 10 seconds to complete. Once that is done, uh, let's try to proceed and let's try to see whether our data is cleaned or not. It has taken around 16 seconds to execute. Now you can see uh, our tweet uh, tokenization. Uh, it's successfully executed. That means our data is clean now. Now, if you want to check this same technique, you can use clean uh, uh, tweet next use head. Okay, use head and run this one. You can see, okay, uh, it, the clean uh, data, I got the complete, uh, the clean data, which is called uh, uh, tweet heads. Okay, so it's look good now. So tweet head is also, uh, now uh, the data is totally clean and it is in the list now. Okay, advice, rest of the other things are uh, uh, completed now. Uh, similarly, whatever the data I have in the clean tweet, so I want to combine that with the data with uh, the data what I have in sentiment. So in that case, uh, I want to combine this uh, original tweet with the sentiment analysis. How we can do this? So to do this, uh, I think let's try this method and let's see whether it's it will work or not. So I'll try to use Corona train object Corona train and I'll call DF okay inside DF I'll call sentiment okay inside DF call sentiment where is sentiment no first I'll try to call this uh, original tweet so as far as original tweet is concerned that is I think it is inside uh, our uh, clean tweet okay so let's try to call this clean tweet first clean tweet okay clean tweet next uh, plus i'll have df inside df let's try to use sentiment so i'm just trying this experimenting it if not possible means we'll go with the other technique sentiments so sentiment i'll try to combine this sentiment perfect now let us try to run this mm -hmm. it is not i'm not able to execute this Let's try to uh, try with uh, other techniques uh, where I can join my uh, data with uh, 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 th those two columns. Okay, let me try to pause the video again. I'll come back to you. Okay, and let's see how to uh, see uh, join these two data. Well, participants, uh, the concept was very simple. Here, uh, if you see DF okay so in df i have all these columns okay uh, but i'm concerned about uh, sentiment here uh, we have pre-processed that one original tweet but as far as original tweet is concerned after performing that tokenization using L, uh, nltk i have saved that column inside this uh, clean tweet now what i will do i'll just try to add that new column in 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 this uh, df uh, frame Okay, so maybe in the next last column. Next, I want to delete rest of the columns. I want to delete like username, screen name, everything what we have. I want to delete everything and uh, I want to go, I want to proceed with that only sentiment and the tweet. So to do this, what you can do is uh, just uh, call one, a new uh, column name. Let's say in my case, I have called it is tweet and uh, assign that uh, column name or whatever the data you have inside the clean tweet and run this one okay so this is it this will add a new column inside our df now you can see uh, there are there is a new column called tweet uh, which uh, what i have cleaned uh, using the stop word system now after this i want to uh, drop all these columns i i don't want this username screen name etc how we can do this uh, to do this i'll try to create one more new object let's say new df okay inside this new df 
uh, I'll try to use uh, Panda system that is uh, DF. So inside DF, I have drop. Okay, so I'll use drop. So in drop, I'll try to mention all the columns which I don't not required, like username. Fine, done. Similarly, I'll go with uh, a screen name. Fine, done. Screen name also done. Next, we have uh, location. I'll try to copy and paste this location also. Next, uh, we required uh, uh, tweet also. I want to drop tweet at. I want to drop this. Perfect. Next, uh, similarly, uh, I want to drop. Uh, last one which is nothing but original tweet so I don't need this also no uh, assign that also and next uh, access uh, equal to column you try to mention so access equals to column okay so access equal to column you mention here perfect now let's try to run this column one let's try to run this so column n is not defined let me check again and come back to you okay what is a error here well there was a simple error but this is going to be a lengthy one uh, if you want to drop let's say username we have so to drop you can make use of uh, drop username that's it similarly uh, let me try to copy this and uh, i'll do it for rest of the other things other columns uh, here let's start with the screen name give the screen name next location location column by column you just try to uh, delete it okay so after location we have tweet next original tweet original tweet was also done perfect now let us try to run this it got executed and if you run this uh, new df uh, it's showing like again username it's showing I think let me run again again let's try to run it's not working uh, let me delete these things and we'll go with only username so if you run this username now you can see username is eliminated similarly let's try to do it for uh, rest of the other columns also so let me copy this paste it here and uh, let's try to give the screen name now okay screen name copy this and paste it here let's try to run this it got executed now let's try to new df dot head will try to run this okay command and uh, you can say uh, screen name is eliminated okay inside df but i can see username there is something wrong here username is uh, it was not okay so first let's try to run this username okay new df username got eliminated next if i run username it's coming that means it's staying taking from uh, df okay so we have committed mistake here it's supposed to be new df uh, equal to new df okay and let's try to run this again so there is something wrong uh, it's not allowing me to give df so let's try to give this one as df1 and let's try to run it let's try to execute so there is something wrong again what is that uh, not found access one so screen name is uh, data type so let's try to use zero okay and run it there is something wrong let me pause and again i'll get back to you uh, well it's an integer type that's the reason i was not able to delete i guess so let's try with location first okay so i'll run this location enter it so access is zero it's showing uh, again I uh, commit I mean modified that access supposed to be uh, columns here okay let me again hover over to location next uh, I'll try to paste here let's try to run this I hope it is yeah it got executed 
now if i run here new df1 okay so it should not be there yes perfect location is not available similarly let's do it try to do it for uh, uh, tweet uh, original tweet also let me copy this and let me try to paste this one okay so let's try to paste this and i'll try to change this one to two okay so it got executed now if i type new df2 okay dot head dot head next let's try to run this okay so tweet is also eliminated let's try with the trail and error method so let's try with for the date also uh, i think location is coming again uh, i think we have eliminated that in df1 dot head right so uh, yes it was i eliminated from the df uh, df yes so this supposed to be one okay now run this execute df2 now you can see it's perfect okay sentiment positive we have username and a tweet we have let's try it for the tweet also okay so let's try to give this one as three okay and this should be supposed to be two and uh, here uh, you are tweet at let's try to uh, replace this one with the tweet at execute perfect it got executed now new df3 dot head okay dot head now if you run this even uh, that is also not available now since username is uh, uh, type is different here that is uh, integer type now let us try to see how to delete integer type of a data okay well uh, i was not able to uh, drop this so i think manually we can drop this okay that we will try to see uh, in next session how we can manipulate this now next is uh, uh, we will try to store this one inside uh, uh, raw data okay so this is going to be after pre-processing this is going to be my raw data so uh, how we can do this uh, since my data is in if you check here my data is in i think this we will consider this data which is in uh, new df3 let me try to copy this hover over to your uh, last cell so paste it here df uh, f3 and i want to convert this one into two csv file okay same thing two csv file and after this just try to give the uh, name you know uh, exact path you where you want to save this so in my case i want to save this inside uh, there is a folder called data so inside data i have a folder called row so raw data next let's try to give the name of this and mode should be write mode let's try to give the name of for this so i'll go with uh, train.csv since we have uh, already called this train.csv in uh, dvc i guess in most of the areas like if you check uh, config also uh, we have called train.csv okay so i'll go with the train.csv next in the data pre-processing and uh, mention this one mode of this file it should be the mode i'll try to assign the mode be write mode okay write mode next uh, obviously i don't want index okay so if you want to remove index so just try to uh, set index is equal to false okay and run execute this you can see uh, if i hover over to data inside the data i have row inside the row i have the file with all this uh, negative uh, sentiment tweets as well as uh, sorry sentiment as well as uh, the tweets so if i check again let me try to check again uh, manually i will hover over to youtube.tl so inside this youtube.tl i think uh, uh, directory this is the directory so inside this directory go to data raw not this one uh, data set not this one this is youtube dl sorry deep learning uh, there is another folder called uh, nlp dl nlp youtube ah this one nlp youtube so if you hover over to data 
so inside data raw okay i have train.csv now i can check okay uh, the complete clean data yes uh, that username data is not available perfect so i got the clean data now i can use this one for our uh, retraining of uh, machine learning based model okay i hope you are cleared with this so in next session we will try to see uh, how to uh, process uh, this data stage by stage similarly i have an assignment for you uh, since this is for the training similarly if you go to uh, kaggle i'll try to yeah kaggle hover over to kaggle so inside kaggle if you type corona one second uh, let me try to check whether that uh, uh, is there on sentiment analysis i have uh not sentiment analysis lstm uh let me let me check lstm yes corona.csv so this is the exact location okay so there is a corona.csv tsv training file is also available so uh, same thing you try to perform for uh, uh, test dot test dot csv file i hope you are cleared if any questions please let me know uh, we will try to meet in the next session where we will try to uh, design the first stage of uh, our machine learning retraining model uh, concern. Thank you. Thank you very much.